okay, this is a quick and basic, the basics of the basics in creating a Padlet wall. So first navigate to padlet.com, which is like right up here. And then you're gonna click sign up for free if you don't already have an account. And then you're gonna use your Google account. So use your KS Google account. So if you have more than one that you're logged into, click on that one. Um, because I already have an account and didn't walk me through anything, but you may have to walk through some things. Okay, then up here in the upper right hand corner, simply click on new. And then just choose wall for the first one. It's going to start my Padlet. It'll automatically give me a background and then a title. So if I want this to be like classroom chat, I would change the title and then I would say a description. So this might be a question that you want answered or an idea or something that you have in your classroom. If you want to change the wallpaper, you can scroll down and you can click on more and there's all kinds of things. But I am going to just do the one that's already up here. And I noticed that my window's a little bit big, so let me just shrink this over. And then I'm gonna click next. Once I click next, you'll see by default it's secret. So it's just like an unlisted phone number or in Google, anyone with the link can view. Um, people with access can write. If you want your students to write on there, then you would like to do that. You can explore this on your own to see the other features. And then you are just going to click on next again. So now I'm all set. I can start posting so I can click on here. If I wanted to add something, I would double click on the board anywhere or I would click on this little plus sign in the upper right. And I'm a student, so I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna add my name so that I know who it's coming from and I'm gonna say this is really cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna click off of it and everyone would be able to see it. Now, how do you get this link, how do you get this wall to your students? If you click on this little arrow up here and click on share, then you click this share, export, and embed. Notice that you can give a, have a QR code for people to get there and there's these different ways that you can do it. But if you just click on copy this link, you can put this in your Google Classroom, you can drop this in a Google Doc, you can email the link to your students, you can shorten the link and put it on the wall so you would just share it with a link. Now just so you know, there are a lot of other features that you can use in Padlet, but this is just a really quick and easy way to get started so that you can use it as a back channel.